you getting worn down? Well, are you? Are you guys really going through with that figure eight stuff tomorrow? Well, unless he chickens, I'll be there. Good. I thought I might be doing a solo. I think you're both out of your heads. You could get killed. adventure of Grand Prix racing. James Garner, Eva Marie Saint, Eve Montan, Brian Bedford and Jessica Walter, dramatic new stars Antonio Sabato and Francoise Hardy, Toshiro Mifune, and the world's champion Formula One drivers. Now, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, director John Frankenheimer, and Cinerama take you out of the grandstand and hurl you into the most exciting experience of your life. Five, four, three, two, one. Grand Prix. doesn't treat me like a tramp. And I want you. Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward. They know what it's all about. They live what it's all about. They make pictures like winning that way, too. You're a winner. What else? He just wants to win. He doesn't care what the stakes are. How is it between a man and a woman when the man thinks winning is everything and the woman thinks mostly of love? Is where you always come? With men? I understood you. I just wanted you to know I'm not easy. Yes, how is it between them? Free and easy? I'm all yours. Stormy? The way it really is with most any couple? Paul Newman. Joanne Woodward. I can't live two lives. I can't live yours and mine, too. In this kind of game where winning is everything, on that big 500 oval in Indianapolis, you can die any second. tight guitar and the vibrations hit everybody. What would you do? A oh, man's my wife, I'd kill her. You'd kill her, huh? Yeah. Not him, why not both of them? There was this guy high on winning and this girl high on him and well, you take it from there. Don't you shoot! 
essence is speed. The objective is winning. And the danger is dying. Le Mans, where hour by hour, lap after lap, the man-to-man -man competition of champions never stops. Do you think it will be like a Nürburgring? A race between you and Stahler? I hope not. Will this uh, be the same kind of race you had with Delaney at the Nürburgring? Well, uh, this is Le Mans. It's a different thing, you know. And what do you think of Stahler? Stahler? I think he's probably one of the best drivers in the world. Do you think that you and Delaney will end up having a close race here? Maybe. He's fast, I'm fast, so we're always together. The press is making a big thing about it. Yeah. But it's money. That's American. Michael? Careful. Now, don't be a pain in the ass, Harry. Le Mans. At 200 miles an hour, the pressure of winning and losing is tough enough. Explaining it to someone else makes it even tougher. This isn't just a thousand to one shot. This is a professional blood sport. And it can happen to you. And then it can happen to you again. What is so important about driving faster than anyone else? A lot of people go through life doing things badly. Racing's important to men who do it well. When you're racing, it, it's life. Anything that happens before or after, it's just waiting. La Mans. The men. The machines. The motion picture. Steve McQueen stars in it. No one else could. Ever since folks could remember, Stroker Ace hated only one thing. Second place. Now, he's the best there is. Uh, ain't out a little bit further away, I'm gonna make a turn. And if you don't know why, Just ask him. It's part of the wonderfulness of me. <laughs> He's a sporting man. You either crash or win. <laughs> and I like that. A ladies' man. And of course, it's my job to travel with you to make sure everything is properly arranged. I'm just gonna get into something comfortable. A man's man. Why don't you drive a Clyde Torkel? Chicken pit special and the fastest chicken in the south. <laughs> you think it's easy driving with chicken feet? I've done some dumb things in my life. 
This is the dumbest. I want you. You do? Yes. <laughs> I think it's important that you be here for this. I'll just do that and just put that right off of there. Now you'll be alive. Okay. Burt Reynolds is Stroker Ace. <laughs> and it's going to take Ned Beatty, Jim Neighbors, Parker Stevenson, Bubba Smith, and Lonnie Anderson to put him in his place. Think we ought to talk? What about how I'm gonna run? Sure. About how you've managed to live as long as you have. Think he can drive? Oh, he can drive. He can drive beyond the limits of the tires, the engine, the car, anything else. There's nothing I can't do with a race car. <laughs> Well, that's the difference between you and me. There's only so much I can do. You want me to work the pit and you drive? You running good? Thank you. I will see how you do in the crowd. I was desperate to get your attention. Well, you got it. I've walked into a jungle. Come up here and do it. I'll take you to a race. Really, I can't. I'm a doctor. I'm cool. Think your driving can improve? I'll take your word for what a car can do, but I'm not taking anybody's word for what I can do. I don't want you to hold a bad opinion of Cole. I believe it scares him. He needs reassurance from you that he's okay. After all, uh... How could you ignore me like that? I wasn't ignoring you. You're his doctor. <laughs> See, a driver gets his bell rung and a couple of lights flicker. And loses what he needs more than his eyesight, more than his reflexes, more than anything in the world. I've raced with my legs broke, heart bruised, eyes popping out of my head like they're on springs. He loses his need. The need to drive right out there on the ragged edge. He doesn't believe you can drive anymore. How long before you find out if you're really good? You just want to race again! Oh, you're really lucky. You get back in that car, you'll die. Jim Kowalski's life was almost perfect. There's a 70 Hemi Challenger in Santa Fe. Who's that guy? Salt Lake City. How long? A week tops. Three days down, overnight. Promise. I will be here. We'll pick up another six bills going home. How'd you like to have a baby in the hospital instead of at home? Until a race against time became a cross-country chase. What's going on? She might lose the baby. Tell her to hang on. I'll be there tonight. He just blew right past us. Looks like it's Colorado's problem now. Somewhere out there, there's at least one man who hasn't gotten the message. He's run across four states. Now, we don't know if he's out for a joy ride or on a mission. All I know is he's terrorizing four corners. And this guy's nuts. He is totally nuts. Now, this individual is a convicted felon who served a prison sentence for battle. I'm just a guy trying to get home to his family. He has endangered the public safety, caused injury to police officers. He is considered to be armed and dangerous. There's nowhere to run and no place to hide. Things are not what they seem, are they? There's no way around that roadblock. You won't make it. Vanishing point. It's the race of his life.
as a boy. All right, honey, you sit tight. I'm gonna go grab some milk real quick. Ricky Bobby was the king of the road. I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> Thirty years later, nothing's changed. Mama, I'm going fast. Hey, driver! Please be 18. This year, I live and die by one motto: If you ain't first, you're last. That's awesome, I know. Small brains. We go together like Chinese food and chocolate pudding. Hey, Cal, those are two things that don't really go together. If I say peanut butter and ladies, yep. Jelly. Jelly? I was you like say... to put jelly on a lady? Come with big wheels. My name is Jean Girard. Tomorrow you're going to get beaten. I'm going to drive so fast I'm invisible. From the guys that brought you Anchorman. Hello, with them cars. This is mine. Do you want me to sign your microphone? Feel free. Absolutely, ma'am. I'd love to sign your baby. You're not going to want to wash that forehead. And 40-year-old virgin. America is giving the world the George Bush friends has given you the menage a trois. Game over. Will Ferrell is... How you doing? Ricky Bobby. Yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. Yeah. Get on fire! Get on fire! You're Back not here. on fire, Ricky Bobby! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Tom Cruise! You don't think I'm paralyzed? It's all in your head. You want to see what my life is? Don't you stick that knife in your leg. Dig Nights, the ballad of Ricky Bobby. You gotta learn to drive with the fear. Ah! Oh, he's on me quick! Ricky, control your heart rate! I can't control my heart rate, I got a cougar on me! million dollars. Deal. Jason, the new record will be one hour 45 minutes when you make it in Vegas tonight. in the pot. 1.2 million. What's a gamble if you don't gamble? Known only to a few. The planet is this. This, my big brother, is where fortunes are won. And lost. Where every rule can be broken. I'm involved in this racing organization. I don't race. Everybody's got a price. 300,000. Damn. All right, fine. And any chance can be taken. Deal was for eighteen million dollars. Just give me a little time. We're racing four cars. Twenty-five million bucks. I like the sound of that. How are you gonna make me happy? Everything okay? I need to win. The pedal to the metal. We but once you're in this deal. <laughs> My brother, I just came to pay him back. Is to cross the line. Tested my patience to the limit. It's over. Either I come for the money, or I come for you. death race six years ago i now have as many viewers as the super bowl the drivers are convicts and the rules are simple and there are no rules win and get your freedom or 
die trying. Who's the new guy? Jensen Ames. He used to race for NASCAR. They say he killed his wife. I guess he didn't like the old Neil. I want you to buy for me. Who does you think I'm gonna risk my life doing this for you? I'm offering you your freedom. All you have to do is walk off that track alive and win, of course. The race takes place in three stages over three days. Tomorrow you meet your navigator. They get bust in from the women's facility. So what about the other drivers? It's kill. It would be kill. I'm gonna win this race because I want out of here. Time to make the monster. Mustang V8 fastback. Three quarter inch steel plate for defense. Smoke, oil, and napalm. And 30 millimeter machine guns for offense. It's on. Now that's entertainment. A driver like me just happened to turn up in your prison. Oh, I'm more than lucky. You're out in front. Who are you gonna shoot at? You don't go backwards. He knows we set him off. What are we gonna do? We're going to kill him. Welcome to the jungle! Kill me. You can burn me, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me! Seventy-eight, I came to Europe to compete for the first time. It was pure driving, it was real racing. And that that makes me happy. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic! I think we are watching the arrival of Ayrton Senna, a truly staggering talent. Are you going to score Minha menina! He'll be ranked among the all-time greats. How do you feel about being world champion? It's not a bad feeling at all, is it? <laughs> Ayrton has a small problem. He thinks that he can't kill himself. And I think that's very dangerous. We are competing to win. And if you no longer go for a gap, you're no longer a racing driver. I was treated like a criminal. The best decision is my decision. I can't stand this. Walking away from the dark forces just doesn't become an option. I was not going to give up. So have any of your girlfriends ever asked you to go faster? Yeah. <laughs> there was an energy, a force, a spirit. It was electrifying. the last time either of them would be on the podium. Ayrton ran out of luck. There is a lot to go, a lot to learn, a lot to do. But I have plenty of time. Pure driving. Real racing. That makes me happy. thousand streets in this city. So you just moved to LA? No, I've been here for a while. I got this sweet job coming up. Shut your mouth. Or I'll kick your teeth down your throat and I'll shut it for you. 
You put this kid behind the wheel, there's nothing he can't do. Look like a zombie, kid. Getting any sleep? You give me a time and place, I give you a five minute window. Anything happens in that five minutes and I'm yours. I don't sit in while you're running it down. I don't carry a gun. Come on! I drive. What do you do? I drive for movies. Action! It's not dangerous. It's perfect. It's only part time. Uh, you two know each other. Don't. We're neighbors. He's a good guy. My husband is coming home. He's in prison. There's some guys that want me to do a job for him, and I'm not going to do it. What is that you got there? One of those men gave you that? What's the job? You get your money. His debt's paid. You never go near his family again. Everything went wrong. What money do I have? This driver's gotta go, Bert. He's gotta go. Shit! Any dreams you have for your future, you're gonna have to put that on hold. I have to go somewhere, and I don't think I can come back. For the rest of your life, you're gonna be looking over your shoulder. You get out of here, and you never come back. Do you remember this? You and your girlfriend are the only players left. Suspect vehicle. I'm gonna hurt you. You understand? that all drivers tell themselves. Death is something that happens to other people. What kind of person does a job like this? Each year, two of us die. James can be a loose cannon. Nick is a genius setting up the cars. I accept every time I get in my car, there's 20% chance I could die. Being driven around 170 miles per hour? This thing's a bomb on wheels. I'm quicker than all of you. And let's race. I feel responsible for what happened. You were. I trust me. Watching you win those races, you were equally responsible for getting me back in the car. I'm world champion on the verge to become world champion again. I can beat this guy. Trust me. It's a wonderful way to live. It's the only way to drive. The closer you are to death, the more alive you feel. Hey guys, check out an exclusive sneak peek of my new film, Need for Speed, at iTunes.com slash trailers. took everything from me. I do not fear, for you are with me. All those who defied me shall be ashamed and disgraced. 
those who wage war against me shall perish. I will find strength, find guidance, and I will triumph.